Hello and welcome to the Drive School. Today we are going to look into advanced common mode ballasting. What is that? In hybrid ships, the common mode from frequency converters need to be handled in some way so that we don't disturb the battery management systems. We can have sensitive consumers on the hotel and navigation side of the ship. And the way we do this by ballasting with um, HF capacitors and also putting transformers the right places in the hybrid ship. This is what we are going to look into now. The battery package on board in a hybrid ship often is controlled by a DC-DC converter. The DC-DC converter doesn't make much common mode itself. A small ripple voltage, very small. But because it's controlled over the plus only and not by the plus and the minus, the minus go directly, the DC-DC converter doesn't produce much common mode. However, there are many other consumers on board in a hybrid ship that can make common mode, especially the charger. There is a big frequency converter that usually is connected to shore that is supposed to be able to charge the big batteries. This drive, you can look upon it as a, almost like a motor. On this side, there will be like a crankshaft and that is the AC side of the drive. Here, the common mode actually is the star point that is rotating, it's not in balance. So if you keep the DC steady, there will be a summary voltage rotating on the AC side. It means if you want to keep the voltage clean on the DC side, you must allow this star point to rotate. And this is the reason why we put the transformer on this side of the drive. Also, the other consumers need to have a free end where the common mode can rotate. If you look at a big consumer, this is a ship propeller. Inside the induction motor, the star point in the stator is a free star point. It, which can rotate. In that way, the DC voltage can be kept stable. If you look at how the AC for the hotel and for the bridge and all the sensitive consumers are produced, we have a grid converter with a transformer, isolating transformer where the star point is allowed to rotate freely. In this way, we can design the whole ship so that the DC voltage are relatively stable compared to the ship steel. The earth on board in a ship is so-called floating earth, but there will always be a capacitive coupling to all the consumers. And also the earth, the steel will via the seawater connect it to shore. So if you want to charge this ship from the shore. Actually, your shore power supply is connected to the ship steel. If you look at the sensitive consumers, like on the bridge, on the galley, your microwave ovens and uh, all the dimmers and stuff, there are a capacitive connection between these consumers and protective earth, which means that your sensitive consumers should have an isolated hotel grid where you actually have a grounding system more or less connected to the seawater, to the ground, to the ship steel. What about our battery? Our battery need to float freely on its DC bus system. And here we have a challenge because if we put any common mode on the DC voltage, the whole battery will start going up and down with a common mode with a really high voltage, 1,500 volt. You know, this common mode, which you can see in our oscilloscope, it doesn't make any harm here on a motor. It doesn't make any harm here in a transformer or in this transformer. But if you do this to your battery, 
you probably will have problems with your battery management system. And here comes a challenge. And these use huge lithium ion batteries actually have a connection to Earth. They have a capacitive coupling to Earth. We don't want this coupling, but because of the chemistry of the batteries and also the big surfaces here, there is a so-called stray capacitance to the protective Earth, which means any kind of voltage oscillations going on here will have a leakage to protective Earth. We don't want to do that because it would lead to disturbance on the battery management system and also could lead to cell balancing problems and the battery manufacturer really don't like us to put any other currents than those who are supposed to run in the system. So how do we control this? To avoid any currents going from the battery to the protective earth, well, then we have to make sure that our DC bus is totally, totally stable compared to the protective earth. We already know there is a straight capacitance here, so there is a connection here. How can we make sure that none of these uh, common mode going on on the AC side will transfer into the DC side? Okay, we have to make a ballasting of our DC bus. It means we put capacitors here on the DC plus to the protective earth and also from the DC minus to protective earth. And typically this is some kind 10 to 50 microfarad. The size of this capacitance should be almost 10 times the stray capacitance. So if you have a stray capacitance of one microfarad, this one should be 10 microfarad. This makes sure that you have a stronger ballasting of your DC bus than stray capacitance in your total system. And this stray capacitance is the summary of the stray capacitance in your battery, but also in your motor cables, because these ones have big surface area to protect the earth and there is a certain capacitance there, which will make some kind of anchoring of the system. The total stray capacitance in all these cables and transformers should be one tenth of the capacitors that we install on the DC bus. This system is a so-called clean DC bus system, which makes it much easier for us to have a clean environment for the battery and a battery management system. Summary, what we have done now, if you look at this model of common mode, we actually have taken our DC bus and connected it with a capacitive connection to the ship steel so that we are stabilizing the DC voltage and we have a loose end, which is dirty, which can be kept in some transformators on the AC side. We have defined this ship to have a clean DC and a dirty AC side. Of course, if you look at the consumers and other AC grids on board in the ship, those are clean. However, inside our hybrid battery system, we have a clean DC, dirty AC. Now that we have succeeded in making a relatively clean DC bus, there is something that we have to consider when it comes to, to the control system of it all. Usually, this is an energy management system consisting of some kind of industrial PLC system. It usually is supported by an Ethernet or some kind of industrial field bus system communicating with the battery management system and the NXP control modules, the control modules for the Wacom drives. These PLCs and Ethernet system usually have a connection to the protective earth. It's common practice to have the zero voltage at control voltages and bus systems connected to protective earth. You need it for the screening to the EMC 
conditions to, to be fulfilled. So you actually have a challenge that your control system is a connection to protective Earth. Then it's really, really important that these connections are not your real connection for the DC bus to the protective Earth. You want a optical isolation between these control systems and the battery. Between the NXP control modules and the drives, it is optical fibers. So in this way, you actually don't have a galvanic connection between the control system for the drives and the power modules for the drives. At last, some advice when it comes to troubleshooting common mode related problems. Let's say you have some disturbance of sensitive equipment. Usually you can relate it to bad cabling. You have high stray capacitance between the faces and the protective earth. So you have contaminated your protective earth. Then even though you got clean power from this side of the transformer, well, you have the EMC and a common mode transferred via the protective earth. Also, you could have the situation where batteries, the battery management system have problems communicating with its cells. What have happened? Well, voltage measuring devices and also cell balancing devices here should be galvanically isolated from the VMS. Because if you have a galvanic connection to here, well, you in practical have ballasted your DC bus here instead of here. And of course, then you will have currents going on here, which disturb the communication system. Same is with the Ethernet and field buses. If you in some way get a connection between here and here, you have currents going on in your control system, which probably will disturb it. Thank you for watching.